What's up everyone, TJ here with another video from the Unleashed Human. And today I'm gonna tell you how to work out at 4.45 in the morning and tips and tricks that I've used to really help me continue with this routine. The number, number one thing that you must do if you wanna be successful at waking up super early, like four o'clock in the morning, is have things prepared way ahead of time. Meaning the night before, get your clothes lined out on the ground, get your water bottle filled up with water or whatever amino acid you're gonna be using, any kind of cocktail or pre-workout, have that ready and have all of your food prepared. So I just did a video on food prep. So I have all my meals already planned for the morning and my shake. So everything is all ready together for me to go off to the gym and rock and roll. So number one, just like with anything in life, be prepared because if you wake up and you don't have things together, you're gonna to be walking around like a zombie and you're gonna tell yourself, I don't wanna to go to the gym. So number one, be prepared with everything laid out the night before. Number two, and this seems super intuitive, but go to bed early. If you're not getting enough rest and you wake up at 4.45 in the morning, you're gonna feel like garbage, okay? So, what you're gonna wanna do, this is what I do, and depending on who you are, you may not need as much rest, but I know that I need at least seven to eight hours. I typically, I'm in bed at 8.30. Yeah, I'm an old man. I go to bed at 8.30. I don't fall asleep at 8.30, but I'm in my bed at 8.30, and then typically anywhere from 9 to 9.30, I'm asleep. So, sleep is extremely important for repair, growth, and recovery, and it's your best chance of trying to wake up early, early in the morning. So I highly recommend start winding down. If that means you need to start wearing your blue blocking glasses at like 7, 7.30 when the sun goes down, that's totally okay, but start getting in the mindset that you're waking up at 4.45 in the morning. It's not easy, I know, I do it all the time, it sucks. But if you go to bed early, you're gonna have a better chance of actually getting up and going to the gym. Number three, give yourself time to wake up. So for me, I set my alarm at 4.20. So that gives me about five minutes or so to rub the salt and sand out of my eyes and get my life together and tell myself, remember your goals, remember your motivation, why are we doing this? And then I get my ass out of bed and I start going downstairs, I get my clothes on, ready to rock and roll. So make sure that you're setting your alarm clock earlier than when the gym opens. Whatever time your gym opens, I would suggest setting at least 30 minutes before. Now, my gym opens at 4.45 on the dot, so I typically wake up, like I said, at 4.20 so that I can just get my mind together. So make sure that you're doing that so that it's not just, all right, boom, I gotta go up, run around and, and, and rock and roll. No, you don't have to do that. Just set your alarm so you have time to get yourself together and that'll make you super, super successful. Number four. This might help you, I know it helps me, but when you first wake up, when your alarm's going off, just put on some music that you like, some hype music, some music that can start waking you up. Because I know in the morning, and I don't know about you guys, but music for some reason sounds so much better and you're more in the moment with the music. So if you have music, some stimulation through your ears to get things going, I know that helps me big time. So it gets me ramped up, energized for my workout and really, really just sets the tone for that morning. So if you can, find your favorite music channel or Spotify music or anything that you use, use that to start going and I tell you what, it will help big time. So find music you like to get ready and rocking and rolling. Now the fifth and final thing that I recommend you try to do is when you go downstairs or if you don't have an upstairs, just come out of your bedroom and go into the kitchen, grab a six to eight ounce glass of water and just down it immediately. Cold water. I repeat, you need cold water because the cold water will actually stimulate your metabolism much, much more and it'll wake you up and boost you. Believe it or not. So try that. Just like when your mom or dad, when they were trying to wake you up in the morning and they threw ice water on you, it's very similar, but it's going down and it's starting your metabolic processes and your digestive tract and your blood starts flowing a little bit better. So try that and really might be a game changer for you. So guys, I hope you liked all of these tips and tricks. If you have any questions regarding working out, fitness, meal plans, anything about waking up early, 
feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to answer any questions for you. And if you like this kind of videos and this video in particular, go ahead and like and subscribe and share it uh, for anyone who wants to know this. But guys, I appreciate you and I will talk to you next time.